Welcome. If you have an interest in aircraft engineering and would like to work within a professional environment in a field of engineering which is centred on safety and the maintenance of airworthiness, then our AeroSkills Certificate 2 program is for you. It is a practical, competency-based course aimed at developing skills required within the aerospace industry. Your practical skills will be developed over the year and supported by the underpinning knowledge during classroom work. Attention to detail is paramount and an attitude change to remove all ambiguity is necessary. However, all these skills are transferable to other general engineering areas. The trained aircraft engineers are called AMEs or aircraft maintenance engineers. AMEs are required to work within a number of parameters, always working in accordance with the manuals or instructions. Compliance within these parameters is mandatory and can be the difference between safe and unsafe, even life or death. Yes, the AMEs around the world shoulder this level of responsibility. Within all parts of aviation there are checks and balances. In the case of AMEs carrying out work, there are also licensed AMEs that are known as LAMEs to control those checks and balances. They are individually licensed by the federal government agency known as the Civil Aviation Safety Authority. They ensure maintenance of standards and practices within aviation. And here is what our current students have to say about their course. Uh, g'day, I'm Rowan. <laughs> Scott. Alex. Tara. Hi, I'm Leo. Isa. Amir. Max. AJ. Danny. <laughs> James. <laughs> G'day, I'm Alex, and I've just been working on the Grom and Cougar. Difficulty getting the Schroeder valve out, but I finally managed to do it. Um, I'm going to have to order a replacement part in because it's now broken. But that's what the course is all about. It's a lot different to being in the classroom. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hi, I'm Amir. Uh, my name's Ron. We've done some modification uh, on, uh, on the hydraulic pump. Uh, it's mechanically driven and we've manufactured a bracket um, and it's for training, uh, training purposes only. So after uh, manufacturing the bracket and mounting the pump on there, um, Amir and I are now going through this schematic diagram which is out of the uh, Aztec Piper uh, maintenance manual. Um, so we're going through and tracing back all the pipes and lines going through the aircraft and finding out which ones are cracked or broken and need servicing. And um, also as well, uh, I've, on my Fridays off the tape, I can go and work over here at FTA and um, it's been a great experience and it's something that I don't, I don't think I would have done if I hadn't have done this course and it's helped me out a lot with my practical um, studies. Uh, we're just doing some riveting at the moment. Uh, hi, I'm Max. Um, uh, right here we uh, had to take out four rivets and replace them. I uh, had to trim down this panel to make it fit absolutely perfect. Uh, this is actually the flight surface right here, so everything has to be nice and flat for the riveting. Um, and doing this course, I've actually uh, won a uh, scholarship with Australian Aerospace, so it's really opened my eyes up for all aviation. Hi, my name is Issa, and we are working in, we are working in the sheet metal. Um, now it's time for riveting. Uh, for riveting, we use the dolly. And we, for protecting the aircraft, we should not damage the inside. We're using the piece of wood, so we place like underneath, and then the dolly is under, over the wood, so we should not protect the aircraft inside. Here is the top of the wing, which been damaged before, and we have to cut this part, 
and then we have to replace it with a new repair uh, structure part which is we made it uh, in our uh, other part of our hangar and we have to replace it back uh, with our uh, manual Hi, my name is Alex and uh, currently I'm performing a structural repair on the door of the Cessna 421. Uh, we've got a broken anchor nut and I'm just drilling out the rivets in accordance with the uh, AC43. Um, although I'm doing a uh, structural repair here, um, I'm actually in hoping to do avionics once I leave the course, but they give you a, a broad variety and let you pick what you want to do as you move on. Uh, this is probably the best way to do it because uh, I've really enjoyed everything. And I was, was really hard pressed to choose between avionics and mechanics. At the moment, we are making the electronic key for our assessment about looms and harnesses. We have to follow these diagrams, uh, and in the end, we are producing this electronic key. Hi, I'm James, and we create this piece in accordance with the manual and test it with test and measuring equipment like this. As an avionic technician, we have to look after all of the avionics uh, instruments in the aircraft, such as uh, communication systems for HF, VOR, ILS, radar, as, uh, and even we have to look after uh, for um, uh, lights uh, for undercarriage as well and then some uh, circuit breakers in the left side and, and this aircraft is such a pretty much is like a, a large aircraft because we have all of the equipment in uh, in this aircraft like we could find them in a large aircraft as a rod radar and gps and uh, um, uh, even we have pressurization in this aircraft too and uh, those all is our part of job to look after the avionic system of the aircraft. Although I'm going to be doing mechanical I have to do avionics as well and um, during the course I learned lots of things about the, the different equipment in the cockpit Hi, my name is Leo and today we are testing the uh, landing gear indication system for faults uh, in accordance with the aircraft's maintenance manual and schematic. And Scott? Hi, my name is Scott. Um, once we've carried out the tests on this system, uh, we'll be installing uh, one of these micro switches. These micro switches uh, let the pilot know whether the landing gear is in the fully retracted or fully extended position. Hi, my name is John Biggs, I'm the Aviation Lecturer here at uh, Parafield. I'm the coordinator for the pre-vocational students. As you can see, we work on live aircraft and uh, we cover avionics, mechanical and structures. Using the aircraft behind us here and the other aircraft like the Cessna and the Grumman, what we're able to do is give the students hands-on experience of what it's like to do aircraft maintenance engineering. This is uh, done mostly in the afternoons and in the mornings uh, we spend a lot of time in the classroom doing underpinning knowledge. If you think you'd be interested in a career in aviation maintenance, give us a call, come down to Parafield and we'll show you around. It's the sort of engineering that you can take anywhere else if you decide aviation isn't for you.